hello and welcome back to another vlog <laughs> starts in the car ends in the car continues in the car the whole show bang in the car anyways um welcome back to another weekly vlog even though they're like months apart <laughs> um today is the 14th of february it is valentine's day i am supposed to be going for um an impromptu dinner with my friend because um yeah we just i didn't want to be in the house and get takeaway so i was like why don't i step outside and it's also valentine's yuck anyways i'm running late already so i'm going to go by the way um thank you for coming back to the usual subscribers and hello and welcome if you're new i just realized where we started off and how we got off yeah let me go and i'll see you later because i'm already running late and my friend is going to be like really grace but she's used to it by now i'll see you in a bit someone to explain to me why boys feel the need to walk around with their hands inside their baggy trousers because it's kind of gross and I'm curious what they're doing with their hands are you keeping them warm are you playing with your thing thing either way I just need someone to give me a clear answer hi date how are you doing I look like that you're gonna put it on your video you I call myself the crusty cutie on my vlog <laughs> 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 I'm just saying to Sarah, we got given the table that they give to people who don't make reservations and we're surrounded by couples. I hate Valentine's, but we needed to go out, so here we are. Sarah, say hi. I'm gonna have to blur her face because she says she doesn't look cute even though she looks just a ticket bird. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Okay, it is whatever. Can't remember. It's a Saturday though, so I've just worked for the past two days. Um, so there was nothing really exciting to do there. I keep feeling the need to explain the situation behind me. Don't worry, I have gotten in touch with the plasterer. I'm waiting for them to come give me a quote so I can get all of this sorted out. But in the meantime we just bear with each other and we just bear with the ugly walls but anyways um and the laundry's still there <laughs> lol um it's saturday today my day off in between two long day shifts um i want to go and get fuel in my car and post a pass oh that reminds me i need to post something and then i also need to do something else i needed to look for tights like in marks and spencer's and then just peruse Costco. But I feel like there's something else that I really wanted. And it slipped my mind. But anyways. Um, yeah. Let's go. Let me get my my things first. I'm so enjoyed. Dude. Okay. I don't know. I don't normally do like outfits of the day kind of thing. Oh look at my little buns. I did this myself. I'm so proud. <laughs> but I need you to see my cute little outfit. Because my mom's a hater. Which is why I rely on my brother for fashion, fashion feedback, fashion advice. Let me show you. I'm wearing like this little, okay, bag, Charles and Keith, so cute, green, and, ah, you can see it properly now. I got this skirt um, in Zimbabwe when my auntie was clearing out her house. So this is my cousin's skirt from 19 God knows what, okay? From 80s or something like that. This is Lavi's skirt. <laughs> D, if you watch it, this is Lavi's skirt. <laughs> and then I just got this little like, um, what do you call this? Like a corsety top thing from Lulu's online. And then, this jumper thing which i am obsessed with my mother loads to death but i love it so much one because it was made by my auntie she's dead now rest in peace but um she made this years ago and again we found it when we were like did we find it in zim or we found it here i don't know i think we found it in zim and we brought it back with us to the uk so i'm obsessed with this and it also looks quite um vintagey <laughs> So that's my little outfit of the day thing. I'm so excited. 
Okay. Let me get the stuff I need to post my parcel and then we can make our merry way. Okay, in the car. Guys, I don't know if I said, like my 30th birthday is coming up in April and I wanna make sure I'm not in England to celebrate my birthday. Oof. So, um, I need, I need, to get like a cute little wardrobe together for wherever I end up going. Um, it has to be a sunny place, obviously. It's between Greece and the Azores. Um, and it's either gonna be by myself or with a friend. Either way, I do not care so long as I'm gone. But anyways, I thought, I just thought I would mention that because um, one of my parcels arrived. Um, I'll probably open it when I come back home. It's like the cutest pair of shorts from Bowdoin. I am excited about this. But um, what time is it? I wanted to be out of the house before I set in time, but who am I kidding? Um, the bus is in my way, but let's go. Why do these people all leave their house so damn early? Okay. I'll see you when we get to Costco. Society, don't push me down the road you've been down Don't try to fix my head, it's just your anxiety Don't hush me now cause I just want to shout Not the, not this. Oh my God, Indomie, eleven ninety nine. I'm taking it. How many? Forty. I'm taking it. It's mine. We are now at the second shopping center. Can you believe all the little nonsense that I picked up in Costco? cost like it's a shame that you guys can't see this top because i just want you to appreciate how beautiful it is but anyways the little bit of nonsense that i picked up in costco cost me 120 pounds i don't quite understand what that's all about but anyways we move um yeah i need to pick up leggings and look at cardigans do i really need a cardigan probably not but also yes yes i do so mns cardigan tights chocolate bar um and then i'm paranoid about dark circles under my eyes and i keep changing serums but i'm like do you really need it my heart is saying yes but my body is saying no because i have to walk from one end of the shopping center to the other end of the shopping center and i don't want to do that but I'm desperately, desperately, desperately hungry and I need, I don't know what I want to eat. Do I want to get chicken wings? I need a wee wee first. Let's get out, go into M&S, look for our tights, chocolate bar and tights, chocolate bar and cardigans. Let's go. Guys. I have been wanting a whole new set of these. I got them from MS last time and they were amazing. Be like a strictly pad girl and then I finally tried period panties and I'm not going back. So I wanted the cute version. Um, and I'm getting the little polka dot ones. I love them so much. Um, but I could have sworn they had like nicer designs, but no. Um, what type is this? Yeah, I'm taking these. And then I need to look for my tights, which I haven't been able to get because it's a big store. Okay. Oh, too bright. Okay. Obviously, I am officially back home now. And I wanted to show you um, the shorts that I got. Okay, guys, I am back at home. I'm honestly in love with my little puffs. I did them myself. Anyway, focus. Yeah, go back home. Um, I just did the dishes and then... 
I want to show you the shorts that I said I ordered for this holiday. We're so excited about this holiday, even though we haven't actually paid a deposit or agreed that we're going on these dates. But whatever, I'm going on these dates. I don't know what she's doing. Um, let me show you the shorts. I'm going to put you down. Okay. Can you see me? Can you see me? You can see me. Ignore the mess behind. I actually don't even care. Anymore. I can't be bothered to explain nor justify the mess at this stage. If you don't know, ask somebody. Never used to be obsessed with Bowden, but now I'm like developing a little, a little, a little love relationship. There's no hate, just love. Oh, I don't want to make sure. Um, yeah can resell it just in case um ah! oh my god that's the first um can you see it or oh, is it too bright there we go look at that color it's like a dusky pink color with little flowers on it um Oh, yay! I got some shorts. Oh. I got them in a size 10 because for as long as I've known, I'm just moving back so I can fit. Um, I've always been a bit... I've always been a size 10 of the bottom, but recently I've lost like a bit of weight, so now I'm starting to get worried. But I think a size 10 should be perfect. I picked the nine inch, nine inch shorts. Love them. I hate booty shorts with a passion. I cannot stand booty shorts. I hate it. I especially hate shorts that are a little bit longer than a booty short. So it's like, you think it's going to be a decent short, but it's not. These are so cute. Um, yeah, UK 10, nine inch. Oh my God. I love the pattern and I love the color. Wait, wait, it's too bright. Do the thing. Voila. There you go. I'm loving it. I want to try them on and see. Actually, I'll try them on together. Let me show you the other one. <gasps> this was my favorite. Because they are embroidered. Yeah, embroidered. And I kept telling myself after this, I'm not buying anything else. But... And they are genuinely embroidered, not printed, which is what people normally do. Look at that. Linen with embroidery. And they have like the little scalloped edges at the bottom. Oh, oh my god, I'm excited. I have to try them on. You need to give me two minutes. Okay, whatever. I can't cover it, so just bear with me. Whether it was the last vlog or the one before that, whatever. At some point, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I was like in the process of applying for different jobs, etc., etc. I was successful in one of the job applications that um, I did, but obviously I didn't vlog it at that time because I skipped so many weeks in between these weekly vlogs. <laughs> but um, I was successful and I have a new job coming up soon or starting soon rather. And it's a trauma nurse practitioner role. Um, I have to be honest, like during the time when I was applying for the posts, I was just so committed to like getting a new post because I was like the one that I have now, I just reached as far as I can, as far as I can possibly go in terms of like what I want to learn and I get bored easily. Yeah. So in terms of like learning new things, um, I just reached as far as I possibly could go and like advancing in nursing management was never like my main goal it was never a priority for me um advancing like maybe in knowledge or like clinical skills is something that very very much appeals to me hence the whole going to medical school thing 
Um, so when I was applying for like, and obviously life has since humbled me with that whole journey. Um, that's how I started my YouTube channel. And then what well, it's supposed to be like med school plus general life, but the whole thing just amalgamated, didn't it? And then, yeah, anyways, long story short, life humbled me um, and continues to do so. So when I was applying for like nursing posts, I was looking for something that would be a little bit more interesting, a little bit more challenging and wake me up a bit. Cause I feel like I operate on like, I don't know, zombie mode, um, depending on what job I'm doing. So I was excited that I got that post. Um, and then like not so long after I got it, I was just a bit like, eh, eh, you know, like a commiseration placement that's what it felt like afterwards and i was like i was so excited when i first got it and i haven't even started but now i just feel like hmm hmm <laughs> like it's not ideally where i would like to be but it's also not where i was and it's some sort of movement i guess but yeah i think i'm just struggling with like with something and I don't even know how to put it into words I think it's just a lot of disappointment and uncertainty and I don't like that but what can you do so I'm just a bit like hmm but anyways focus on the good let's see what happens um, I don't have a start date for it yet but I will be starting at some point soon because I've already gone through the whole references basically the HR checks are in the works so I'm hoping to start sometime in April, ideally beginning of April, because I have a holiday in the middle of April, so I need somebody to pay for that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where I'm at, currently waiting to start a new job. Um, it is different from what I'm doing now, because at the moment I'm like a band five scrub nurse, and then with the new post it would be in a completely different specialty it would be orthopedics and it would be um like a trauma nest practitioner um and it would be a band six post um that's only relevant because i needed to go up in terms of earning capacity i was like yeah the salary needs to change and this is not a joke the salary needs to change so yeah let's see what what happens um I think I'm more excited about my holiday to be quite honest which is natural for me anyways I'm gonna see you what's happening tomorrow I'm going to work tomorrow so I might see you tomorrow um, I'm slowly trying to work up to like giving you a tour of theaters I might run that past my manager one time and see how she feels about it I feel like she'll be like yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine sure do it <laughs> so long as there's no one in theater and then I will give you a tour if they say yes because the worst thing ever would be for me to just give you a random tour and then they find it on YouTube. Like, what were you doing? Who gave you permission? So, yeah. We shall see. I love the top. I love the top so much. It makes me feel like I need to get more jewelry. I don't. I really don't. But um, I will see you tomorrow when I'm going to work. Good morning. Hello, fabulous people. It is Sunday today. I think it's like the 19th or something. Anyway, Sunday, February 19th or something like that. Um, I'm at work. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can actually give you like a full tour of like one of the theatres. Just so you know what it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish getting dressed and then... <sighs> Honestly, it's done. <laughs> I'm going to finish getting dressed and then I will like show you all around. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, uh, I'll try again. Okay, good morning, hombres. <laughs> oh, light, 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 and adjusted. Um, wait, 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 wait. One day, we won't fuff around with the camera and the settings. There we go. Um, good morning. Today is like a Wednesday. I have finished my five long days. Eight to eight, five of them in a row with one day break in between. But anyways, I digress. Yeah, um, morning. Today, I am, um, woke up early just to like wet my hair, blow dry it because I need to go get my hair done. And then I'm just running random little bits of errands. I need to drop my clothes off at the laundromat. We do have a washing machine. But, but I hate.
hate breaking up the laundry into like load one, load two, load three. I prefer the bigger washing machines where you just dump everything in there and it does it. So we're taking my stuff to the laundromat. And then, what was the other thing? I need to post my friend's parcel. And then, what was the other thing? What was the other thing? I need to pick up a parcel. And then, after that, I'm just, I'm just gonna sleep. Tomorrow, I'm going to watch my first ever ballet performance. I'm so excited. I wanted to do it last year and nothing, nothing happened. Let me put you down somewhere. I wanted to do it last year, but that didn't happen. And then this year, I said to my friends, we should go watch it. And they were like, yeah, let's get tickets. They didn't say anything after that. And I was like, we're not doing this again. Bought my tickets, I'm going tomorrow and I'm gonna watch Swan Lake. I'm so excited. I'm so I'm so excited! <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, I need to go get my hair done, so I need to make my cup of tea and then we can be on our merry way. Um, my hairdresser, the one I've been using, is currently still in Nigeria, so that's interesting. But I called her number yesterday and someone else picked up, so I'm like, I'm hoping she left someone else in charge. But I changed the style. I'm like, no, I'll wait until she comes back and she can do the style that I want. But for the time being, with me going out tomorrow as well, um, I just want to get something so my hair is not just all over the place so it's just, hopefully it's just like a quick one hour styling thing i was wrong and then we'll be on our merry way it's nothing cute it's nothing like crazy complicated so hopefully they won't ruin it i was so wrong guys the hair is done i paid 45 including the extensions and I mean, it's not terrible, but I wish I had just waited for my actual hairdresser because this doesn't match up. And yeah, it's okay, but. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I wish I had just waited for my hairdresser because this is not. It's not cute. I'll show you what I wanted it to look like. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> um, yeah, I'll show you what I wanted it to look like versus what I got because it's not terrible, but it's not the greatest thing ever. And I wouldn't say that it is worth <laughs> 40, 45. I wouldn't say it's worth 40 pounds, to be fair. But then I have to value the person's time, don't I? Because she it did take her a while. Um, I thought it would be simple because it's like rubber bands and then adding on the hair towards the end. But yeah. Yeah, anyways, I'll show you what I wanted it to look like versus what it does look like. And I'm not thrilled about it, to be quite honest with you. I'm just not. It's it's not sending me, you know, over the moon. I'm like, yuck. I could have just done normal cornrows for the time being. You know, like cornrows in an updo like I had before. And then, yeah, but hey-ho. And then done my proper hairstyle when the hairdresser's actually back because I prefer her. Um, this is what I wanted. Do you see that? <laughs> expectation. Is it focusing? Yeah. Expectation. There we go. That's what I wanted. And this is what I have. It's not too far off, but it's also not whatever <laughs> whatever let's go let's go home actually i need to go into town post my parcel um get some change to use at the laundromat because <sighs> that's why the laundromat always makes me feel so poor because i need change and i just i don't want to have to do like four different loads before i finish doing laundry at home because it's small let me stop rambling. Let's go post the thing and get changed. Okay, guys, round two. Um, I came back, obviously, tried to take a little bit of a nap. I did not nap. Woke up, realized how much I hated my hair, but anyways. Okay, let's make our way back to the, to the laundromat. This time I'm prepared. <laughs> it's the most little ghetto setup. I love it. You can keep me in a cage made of tired ideas. It's a rest and now fast about the day.
go back into hiding. Anyways, um, it's now five. <laughs> so you should get your hair done. It's now five, so I'm officially running late because, well, it turns out to be who I am. But I need this lady to hold the phone, to hold the camera so you can see my cute little outfit. I don't know why people wear to the ballet, but this is what Grace wears to the ballet because... I just wanted to, I wanted to wear my cute little jumper. Mom, mm -hmm. I need you to come pan this camera so they can appreciate my fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Tell me how. Okay, how go do down. I mean, don't you just drop the camera down, pan it down slowly. Yay. That's right. Yay. That's right. <laughs> Woo. That's my child. Let's go. <laughs> see me at all but um <laughs> let me see if there's better lighting oh here we go anyways um i finished or the show has finished rather it was amazing um my first ever time like watching like a live ballet performance it was absolutely amazing the only thing is obviously the only other swan lake i've ever watched is disney's version and disney is happily ever after this one is not happily ever after they were together but presumably this was in heaven and i was like damn that's dark um but yeah it was amazing time to go home i'll see you guys later tomorrow when i'm at work really that's all, huh?